Commitment 2022 coverage includes tonight what may be the final governor's debate in Kansas this year. KMBC tonight's Michael Mahoney reports on incumbent Democrat Laura Kelly and Republican Derek Schmidt facing off today in Overland Park. And it all comes down to this. The two argued about schools, state spending, business development, and former Governor Sam Brownback. Democrats are bringing him up daily on the trail and on TV. Republican Schmidt says that's strange. You know, the governor has an unhealthy obsession with one of her predecessors who served in office eight years ago. I talk about my record all of the time. Uh, I bring up Sam Brownback because that's exactly where we will go if we elect Derek Schmidt. Schmidt says Kelly's term has spent too much money and will leave Kansas in the hole and that President Biden's policies hurt the state too. When Joe Biden's inflated federal money goes away, and it will, Kansas taxpayers will be stuck paying those bills. Kelly talked about fully funding Kansas schools in her first term, straightening out the budget, and she says she'll push for more business development in another term, medical marijuana, and expanding Medicaid. I will present my fifth uh, in January, and I think the fact that I will never be on the ballot again uh, can take the politics out of it. So this was a much more subdued debate than the one in September at the State Fair, and this is probably the last debate before the voting starts later this month. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The hour-long debate will be shown on Kansas City PBS tonight at 7. The personal information of Johnson County, Kansas election workers could be at risk. Police arrested the executive of a software company in Michigan overnight. Investigators believe poll workers personal information is being stored on servers based in China. Now we want to be clear here. This is not an issue about votes. Los Angeles County is also one of the many counties that used this software to manage poll worker assignments and payroll. Missourians will decide who will take Roy Blunt's Senate seat after he retires on Election Day. Seats in Congress will be decided, plus some proposed constitutional amendments, including Amendment 3, which, if approved, would legalize recreational marijuana in the Show Me State. And time's running out to register to vote in that uh, November election. Missourians need to register by one week from today, October 12th. Kansans have until October 18th.